Hello, I'm Jean Reynolds and today I'm going to show you how I made these um, welly boot warmers um, which are stuffed with rice. They're very easy. I used a sewing machine but you could do this by hand because there's not a lot of sewing in it. These ones that I've made are 24 centimetres um, on the long side and just check again. Yeah, just shy of nine centimetres depth there and that's a good fit for a, a lady size five welly boot which is what I am. Um, it's no accident that they're this size though because if you get a fat quarter like this and you open it out then fold in half long ways and fold in half again you might want to iron it to get it nice and neat then what I did was um, I ripped it to get these even you'll get a strip of fabric like this and this is what I used to make these liners. So you start off by folding the right sides together. Like so line it up nice and neatly. Squeeze out the way. And you want to turn down a small hem at one side, maybe one or two centimetres. So I'm just going to pin. And then you'll do that for the other side. And you can pin both through if you like, because what you're now going to do is pin down these edges and sew them on your sewing machine. Or if you want, you can sew them by hand. Um, I've got a machine that does some stretch stitches, so I don't know if you can see what I've got there. A sort of overlocking type stitch um, and it's going to stop the, the ends from fraying. If you can't do that on your machine then do a straight stitch and do some zigzag. So once you've got your pouch sewn up I'm going to turn it through and I'm going to poke the corners out of the bottom. You can do that using a pen or knit needle or a crochet hook, whatever you've got to hand. Get your corners out, it's nice and sharp. There you are. You've got your bag like this. So make that nice and flat. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a row of stitches like that down the middle of it using my sewing machine. So I'm just going to swing that round. There you are. I've got quite a, um, a basic machine, it wasn't too expensive, but it has got some um, zigzag and some fancy stitches. It was a replacement for one which was very basic, which I'd had since the 70s. So, uh, just going to do some straight stitch. Back. Secure. going to fasten that off neatly afterwards so you've now got your pouch with your stitches and you're ready to stuff this. So I'm going to use rice for these. I have found that um, the wheat that you can get is actually a little bit better at retaining heat but I got the rice for 45 pence per kilo and what I saw online was about £8.50 to £9.50 a kilo for the wheat. Price comes down if you're prepared to buy 10 kilos, so if you're going to make a lot of heat bags, you might want to think about it. I used about 350 uh, grams for my pair of boot liners, which is about that much in the tub. And what I'm going to add to that is some of the lavender that we collected in the summer. And the lavender is going to give it a nice smell, but also rice is food and food will rot, but Lavender oils will actually stop that, or at least slow it down. Eventually you are going to have to replace the rice or the wheat, whatever you use. So you stir that in, so you've got about that much. Then you're going to make some sort of cone. I'm just doing this from a piece of paper. So I'm going to pop in the top. 
and about 10 spoons of rice and lavender mix should do it. If you're brave enough, you can just pour. If you know that you're going to make a mess like me, you might want to use a spoon. to move it to make sure that you're filling up both parts. It will sort out once um, once you've sewn it up. Ooh, I'm getting it all over the place. It's okay, I'm the cleaner here so it doesn't matter too much. A bit more than that one. There you go. So now you just tuck in any loose threads that you've got at the top and we're just going to sew along the top there again with a straight stitch you can put a pin in to hold it while you get it to the machine swing this back round tuck any stray stitches in that you've got um, any stray threads in just save you finishing it off later and i'm going to do just a row of straight stitches with a couple of um, forward and back at the end to secure. Even very simple sewing machines like the old fashioned treadles can let you do the forward and back. And there you have it. One welly boot warmer. Now, what you're going to do with this is microwave it. Um, how long you microwave it for will depend on just how much you put in. I found that two minutes for the pair um, works well. You want to do that by trial and error and you do want to make sure that you um, look online to see some of the um, instructions about microwaving and um, heat bags because you want to make sure that you don't burn yourself on it. So there we are. A nice easy project. Make a good um, Thing to do for a present. Cotton's the best uh, sort of fabric to use for this. You can find fat quarters all over the place. Um, if you wanted to just buy a quarter of the um, fabric yourself you could do that because you'll get two long strips and you'll still get the same amount out there. You could use old curtains for this, you could use anything. It's after all a welly boot liner and I think this is a great project for someone uh, starting to sew You'll get good confidence, you'll make something that you can use or that you can give as a present. So there we are, today's winter craft, because we're not saying the Christmas word, but it would make a good present. Bye bye, see you all soon. Take care. <laughs>